One of the strangest places to visit in Fallout New Vegas is the Ultra Lux Casino on the Strip. It looks way too fancy on the outside to not have something nefarious going on within. And of course, anyone who has explored the veritable Garden of Eden for themselves can confirm that there is. During the Beyond the Beef quest that sees the courier help Heck Gunderson find his lost son, we can learn that there is an investigator looking into an earlier disappearance. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Of course, of course. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Heading up to the room will lead us to discover the body of this P.I. A couple of white glove thugs will jump the courier here, but after the fight, we can take a look at who is lying on the ground. This is Jay Barnes, and he was hot on the case when he was seemingly murdered perhaps by the same two white gloves that just tried to jump the courier. Searching his person will show a matchbook as a clue, but the clothes he is wearing can't be looted. This is the trench coat and the fedora, both visually identical to the mysterious stranger's outfit. These clothing items are NPC only, and even when using console commands, they will not show up in our inventory, thus preventing us from ever wearing them. It's important to note that if you have the Wild Wasteland perk, Jay is replaced by Crusoe. During this encounter, his clothes can be looted, but they are not the trench coat and fedora. In fact, they will not show up anywhere else in the game. So if you don't have the Wild Wasteland perk, this is your only chance to see them. This could be because the mysterious stranger wears these clothes and they may be coded to not drop for the player. Whatever the case, we are left to just observe these rare items, never being able to add them to our collection. Get fucked.